Hi, I'm Brandon from Copilot Kit. Today, I'd like to show you our template for building powerful AGUI Canvas experiences with Mostra. The Copilot Kit Mostra AGUI Canvas Starter Template showcases how to build production ready AI applications that maintain consistent state between the UI and an AI agent. This solves common problems like AI hallucinating about the UI state, race conditions between user edits and AI updates, complex multi-step operations with progress tracking, and maintaining a ground truth in distributed systems. This Canvas metaphor is perfect for demonstrating CRUD operations, real-time synchronization, and complex state management. It's a pattern that can be adapted for project management, CRM systems, content creation tools, and much more. This template is important because it demonstrates first-class bi-directional state synchronization between AI and UI, it shows how to build AI-powered Canvas apps with real-time updates, and it solves the ground truth problem in AI applications. To get started, click the Use This Template button in the top right corner of the template and click Create a New Repository. Here you'll see the name of the template we're using to generate your new repository, along with a number of other options you can use to configure your repository exactly as you need to. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to name my repository AGUI Canvas. Once our repository is fully generated, we can scroll down to the Getting Started section of the README. The very first thing you're going to want to do is add your OpenAI API key to the env file at the root of your repository. This is going to allow your Mostra agent to communicate with your AI model. Next, you'll need to install all of your dependencies for your project, which you can do using your preferred package manager, such as PNPM, using the PNPM install script. Next, it's time to start your development server. Run PNPM dev or the associated dev script for your preferred package manager, and the development server should be up and running in no time. Now, I've already gone ahead and done that here so that you can see what your project will look like once it's live. I've also prepared a prompt that I'm going to use with Mostra to have it generate a number of items of different types so that we can see it draw these to the canvas. So we have a project card, an entity card, a note card, and what we call a chart card. It first creates these cards and then continues to populate them using sample data. So we can see we have project alpha, entity beta, note gamma, chart delta. Not only do we have access to these items in the UI, but we can also click the JSON button here at the bottom to view the live data for our current state in JSON format. Now, if I make any changes, for example, renaming project alpha to project beta, we'll see that change reflected live in the JSON tab. Now, if I ask our AI Mostra agent what the name of that project card is, it should have the latest information. So I'll ask, what is the name of our project card now? And we can see that our agent responds with the updated project name. Now let's take a look at how this is built. In our application, we have several important folders to pay attention to. We have our app folder, which is the entire client-facing application. We have our components, our hooks, our lib folder, as well as our Mostra directory. And our Mostra directory is where the entire agent lives, primarily the top-level index.ts file here. So within this file, we instantiate Mostra using the Mostra class, where we define our agents, our storage, and our logger. Now we have our tools inside of our tools directory, where you can see we have tools for creating a plan, updating and completing that plan. And we also have an agents index.ts file where we create and manage the agent state and canvas agent. Concerning the UI, the most important file to pay attention to is going to be our page.tsx file. Right off the bat, you'll notice that we're using several hooks from Copilot Kit. We're using use coagent to set up our agent state. We're using use copilot action to set up our client facing actions use coagent state render to render DOM elements in between chats, such as progress on plans. We use use copilot additional instructions for additional grounding from the client side. And we use use LangGraph interrupt to request some additional clarity from the user when there's ambiguity in their request. You'll see we're also pulling in a couple of components from Copilot Kit, including the Copilot chat sidebar for when a user is on a desktop experience, which we switch to the Copilot pop-up for users on a mobile experience when there's limited space. In addition to our Copilot Kit hooks and components, we're also setting up a number of types in our lib canvas types directory. In state.ts, we create and manage the shape of the state that the canvas shares with the UI. In types, we manage the actual types for all of those 
item types as well as sub item types. And in our updates file, we provide foundational functions, which both our UI actions and our copilot actions use to perform operations on the canvas. This provides for greater synchronization between user actions and agent actions. We hope that this template serves as a strong foundation for your AGUI Canvas applications. If you have ideas for improvements or encounter issues while using this template, please don't hesitate to open an issue or a pull request on the source repository. We can't wait to see what you build.